hey everyone welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel my name is miss tamika i upload videos once a week which is sunday and then i'll also throw in bonus videos throughout the week and with that being said you all how you do it <laughs> But yeah, anyway, y'all, with that being said, I'm here to do another bag review. Review, but a bag unboxing. Um, I did just come in the house. I'm tired, you all, so don't mind the look. So if you're here to see what bag I got, keep on watching. And if y'all been following me for a while, y'all kind of know what direction I've been going into lately. As you know, I've been dipping and dabbing into... The the whole YSL. I am new to YSL. I have purchased a few bags. 100% sold on the bags. Like, I love the bags when I did my unboxings. And some of them I did return. But with that being said, I did purchase this because I wanted to get a feel of this particular size. Like I said, I didn't go to the stores to try on the bags or anything like that. I decided to buy the bags, bring them into my home, try them on, and see which ones I like. So I did purchase three different sizes this is the last size i am purchasing that being said this here is the unboxing and i'm gonna go ahead and get to unboxing because i am super tired to unboxing on my channel because i want to start playing with this bag so i didn't want to open it and then be like oh hey y'all here's the unboxing like i didn't want to do that um, I did order this from Neiman Marcus, so we're going to see together if it comes with a box. So I can't see as of yet. I'm not going to peek, but here's the inside of the box. Okay, so I don't think it's a YSL box. It feels like it's a... So it feels like it's just a regular box with the bag in, in the inside. Brown box, so that's the only drawback with ordering from Neiman Marcus, but I'll... No, I can't say that because the bag that I ordered from Nordstrom's, I think, did come with a box. So I guess it just depends. Here is the bag. Like I said, it is a Saint Laurent bag. When I tell you it's so hard to pick a bag, you all, like, it's really hard. If I don't end up liking this, not even so much liking it, but if it doesn't fit my lifestyle. I'm okay, y'all, sorry for the angle. My camera did just die. I figured you want to focus on the back anyway. I am filming in my kitchen because, like I said, I just walked in a house and I wanted to go ahead and hurry up and do this here unboxing. The bag, like I said, is from Saint Laurent. I did purchase the toy Lulu. No, what what is this? I ordered the YSL Lulu, and I ordered this because, if y'all didn't know, I did purchase two small YSL bags. And when I tell you they were beautiful, beautiful bags, I just couldn't, it just didn't work for me, you know? Like it just, it just didn't. You know, I said I was all for downsizing and everything like that, but I don't know y'all, for some reason, it just, they didn't work for me. I was just having such a hard time and I was just like, you know, to spend that type of money, I just felt like I don't want to struggle that much with a bag if y'all get what i'm saying i did purchase the all black on black with the black hardware and it's black the inside is black um the only thing that's silver is the um buttons here and everything else is that gunmetal black i decided to purchase this last size because of course if y'all not familiar with ysl they have a medium and a large size the medium is way too big and the large is extra extra big my daughter-in-law actually likes the large me personally it's just too big it's like so big it's just a really really big bag and like i said i'm not into those type of big big bags like this is the biggest size i would go like i wouldn't go to a medium or i wouldn't do a large if i can show you everything is wrapped so beautifully here is the same material as my gucci more mount because I kept going back and forth with myself like, okay, do I really need this YSL bag to the Gucci more amount? But the shape is totally different because I did watch a comparison video. So I was like, okay, it, it has the same material, but it's a whole different shape. Okay, I had to go grab my charger because I didn't want this to die on me because my phone is about to die. Here in the inside, this here 
uh, reminds you of the toy Lulu, which I had. Lulu didn't work out for me because I was just having such a hard time placing my items in the bag. Just like, okay, Tamika. Because honestly, this is the one I really, really wanted. And I just didn't want to pay the price for this hair particular bag. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and try the toy Lulu. And then I'm going to try the other one, the other bag. This is why... If you can't get what you want, it's better to just wait. I didn't even want the other two bags. I wanted this one. Well, this size. I wanted it in gold, but I didn't want to wait. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and um, try the black. Because I didn't want silver. And then I was saying to myself, okay, if I get this in all black, it'll be a little different than the Gucci Moore Mount. Because if you didn't know, my Gucci Moore Mount has the gold hardware. So I felt like, okay, if I do end up loving this bag and deciding to keep it, I feel like the black I give it a different look. This is something very new in my collection. I don't have no um, gun metal or black hardware on any of my items. Hair bag do not have any feet. It do not have a back pocket. It would have been nice if it had a back pocket, but it don't. Um, you do see, if you can see, you see the Y shape in the back. Um, and then you have your hair, um, Front pocket, which will hold all my essentials because bags that I purchased, I had to downsize my essentials and I didn't really want to do that because I already have a lot of small bags. So I felt like I didn't want to have to downsize too much. And with those particular bags, I, I kind of did. So with this, I'm sure I can carry everything. Um, you do have a back pocket here, then here in the zipper part, the YSL uh, card information. Of course, I'm not going to open it because I did uh, open the original. My first one and this one, like kind of all the same. Um, the zipper pull is all black. What I do is um, I'm going to grab my bag just so I can throw a few things in here just to see how my essentials fit. And I grab a few things. Um, I carry Q tips because, y'all, the other day, I was driving and something flew in my eye. And when I tell you I almost died and I had to actually take my dirty finger, get in my eyes to like, you know, whatever was going on. So I was like, you know what? I feel a little extra puffy because I don't know. I think I irritated my eyes. So I was like, you know what? Moving forward, I'm going to put, keep these in my purse and also in my car so that ever, ever happened again. Cause it was to the point where my, eye, my eyes were getting blurry and I was driving. So I had to, use my fingers because i didn't have nobody to blow in my eye or whatever so this is why from for now on i will be carrying q-tips close by manicure set an ear pods um and i make sure mm -hmm, i'm not sure if i'm gonna put that in my purse because i don't like to put gum in my purse that i have my purse smelling minty so i'm gonna go ahead and put that out because i don't want that purse to smell minty right now I have my Chanel lotion, um, Louis Vuitton card case, my um, um, business card holder, and a hand sanitizer. And I had this hand sanitizer in my purse. And what else? I usually carry a lip balm, but here is my Chanel mirror. I did take it out of that pouch because, y'all, let me tell you, that pouch was getting so much lint on it. And then I have my Laneige. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just place, you know what, let me grab my keys. So, here are my keys that in the back area. I am filming with my iPhone, so I will not be able to put my iPhone in the bag, but I'm sure it will fit. So, here is my stuff. Of course, we know it's going to fit a whole lot better than those other bags. Um, my hand sanitizer. I don't normally need to carry this all the time, but um, I don't know. I'll just throw it in here for the sake of the video. This here, I do not have to carry in my purse, but I will keep this in my car. Like I said, just in case of an emergency. Here is the inside of the bag. So as you can see, everything can fit. And my cell phone still has room to fit like in the back area. So with this here particular bag, you can carry it a few ways. Um, maybe I'll just go ahead and show you the straps. Okay, y'all, I finally got all this hair wrapper, wrapping off. Here's the bag um, with the straps, with the paper off. Wear it as a, um, okay, that's 
my snake. Okay. I wear this hair bag as a shoulder bag like so. I wear it with one. You probably won't be able to see, I'm sure. You can wear it crossbody. Um, uh, I will probably come back on here. If I don't come back on here with a second video, that's because I ended up um, returning it because it didn't work for me. Make sure you subscribe because you can figure out if I end up keeping it or not. Because I found out yesterday that the um, Louis Vuitton Delightful PM is available. Um, you can't order it online, but I finally found a online essay. So she gave me her number extension and everything. And she told me um, that they have some at the warehouse. And if I decide to want to purchase the Delightful PM, um, she will ship it to me overnight for free. So with that being said, I'm like, okay, now I'm like, as y'all know, this bag costs way, way more than the Delightful. No, the Graceful. I'm sorry, the Graceful. Yeah, the Graceful. Not the Graceful only because of the price point. And then also I can carry all my essentials with that bag like everything i don't have to downsize i don't have to take away i don't have to do all none of that i can carry all my new um little accessory pouches like i can carry everything without having to worry about is it going to fit or not now with this as you can see i can't carry my gucci pouch that i just bought like i can't carry everything but i can carry more than what i was able to carry in the toy lulu in the otherwise bag YSL bag, so I'm kind of back and forth for you all. I found that out. I was like, okay, instead of breaking the bank, um, maybe I should go ahead and get that graceful PM that I wanted. Give myself some money and then maybe do YSL later down the line. At least I know I done tried three sizes. So now and when I do decide to, you know, purchase a YSL, I know I'm going for this particular size. So that's another reason why I didn't bite the bullet to buy this hair bag because it, it is a lot more expensive and it's more than what I want to spend right now. But it was driving me crazy and I was just like, you know what, Tamika, just order the bag. See if you really, really like it. Because like I said, I tried the bag on. I liked it and everything like that, but I really couldn't get a full feel of the bag. So that's why I purchased the bag to bring it home, to try it on, put my stuff in and things for everything is everything and i'm glad that i did do that because i fell in love with those other two bags and then once i got it home and started playing with i realized that it wasn't for me so so that's why i wanted to go ahead and hurry up and do this hair unboxing so i can decide what i'm going to do go and reach out to my essay just to make sure it's still available because if it if the bag is still available i may consider purchasing like i said the graceful for now and maybe saving this, you know, for maybe a, a Christmas present or a birthday gift. I wanna wait for a, a better deal. I did get um, some type of deal with this bag, but I would prefer to get like a, like I don't care too much about the gift cards. I would prefer to have a percentage off of this here particular bag. And if y'all didn't know, some sales do include YSL. So then I was taking that in consideration, like a um, little patient and waiting around the holidays for one of them, you know, 300 off a certain amount. If you spend a certain amount, you get 300 off and, you know, things like so, because it can bring the price down for me. I'm not sure, but the reason why I, the reason why I do these hair unboxings, whether I keep the bag or not, because I just feel like um, it may be somebody out there that want to purchase a bag like this. And after watching my unboxing, I may, you know, help you out or some sort. So, you know, that's why on here, on my channel. Um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I do a lot of unboxings and there's a lot of things I kept and I didn't keep. And that's only because I just, it just didn't work for me. And I'm that person that if it don't work, it got to go back. So I said you all, um, this here is the YSL in the gunmetal, um, in the gunmetal hardware. Like I said, so far so good. You know, I don't know if it's because I'm tired. <laughs> Because y'all know how I am with my unboxing, y'all. I'm like, yes, honey, yes. I'm a little tired, you all. So that's probably why I feel like, you know, 
I don't know. But it's a beautiful bag, y'all. It's so beautiful. She more amount, which it do, but I don't know. It, it is a different shape because I, I don't know, y'all. Decisive lately. I don't know where that is coming from because I just have a hard time deciding, you all, like I do. And it sometimes drives me crazy and it drives the people around me crazy because do you like this? Do you like this? And then end up picking what I end up liking and then not liking what I like and then end up liking what they like. Then I, I don't know you all. I don't know if it's because I'm older now. I don't know where it came from, but it's driving me crazy. Go ahead and stop rambling and go ahead, like I said, and play with this bag behind the scenes. And like I said, if I do, like I said, if I do a part two, then you know I ended up keeping the bag. That being said, you all. And then I also heard that Louis Vuitton is about to do a price increase. Now, um, if I noticed that that graceful, yeah, the graceful PM went up in price, I know for certain I'm not purchasing, especially if it went up like a whole lot. Now, if it went up a few coins, then yeah. But if it went up a few hundred dollars, then I'ma just pass because um, that's a canvas bag. This here is all leather. I know it's a lot more, but um, yeah. So hopefully the price is still the same. The lady I talked to, said she didn't hear of the price increase, but she said a lot of times when they do have price increase, she won't know until the day before. So of course, when I go and email her, um, probably sometime tomorrow by the end of this week, I'm letting her know what I'm gonna do, you know, if see if the, first of all, to see if the bag is still available. And then also um, to find out if it was a price increase, cause I haven't been on YouTube lately, but I've been seeing a lot of Louis Vuitton stuff popping up saying price increase. So I'm like, okay, Louis Vuitton. But that was the la that was the only bag I wanted from Louis Vuitton. Um, of course, I saw a few accessories, but that was the only bag left that I wanted. Um, so with that being said, you all, if you have this bag, let me know your thoughts on this hair bag. And then also, um, with this hair particular hardware, let me know if you have issues with chipping. Because I did um, watch a video and someone was saying something about chipping hardware. So I don't know. And then also, I don't know if you are interested in this hair bag. I will link it down below for you all so y'all can check it out for yourself. Because I know y'all, anyone that watch my videos, I know y'all love bags just as much as I do. Being said, you all, please give this video a big thumbs up. And also before you go, please don't forget to click on my subscribe button and my notification bell so y'all can be notified each week when your girl uploads videos. And, till, and until next time, and there will be a next time. I will talk to you later. Bye.